Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions Week 17. Obviously, a lot, midweek games coming up, a lot to talk about, so let's get straight down to this. So guys, you know what to do, give us a lot of big thumbs up, you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Brentford vs Manchester United. A game that may not go ahead due to the Covid outbreak at Old Trafford, but... On the other hand, I have got to predict this because there has been no as I'm recording this. So, anyway, going forward to Brentford first. Brentford did come out 2-1 winners over Watford the last previous uh, game. Um, very good dominant performance on football Brentford, especially in the second half. I think Watford were very lucky to hold on as much as they did. I'm um, going over to the other side of this, Man United, who did play Norwich, and I did predict Norwich to win that game, and how did Norwich not win that game? United were very lucky with uh, the result and with the high being in goal. The how really did keep them in the game that previous weekend. So, you know, it was a really lucky game for Man United to walk over the three points at Callow Road. Obviously, go up to, maybe go towards Brentford this weekend to go play Brentford. And I'm going to go for a one on score line for that one. My next one is Norwich versus Aston Villa. Just literally mentioned Norwich losing 1 0 to Man United at home. How did they lose? I will never know. Um, as I said, I think it's a very good game on Norwich. But just couldn't really cope with, you know, that uh, Ronaldo penalty. Was it a penalty? Wasn't it a penalty? Put it down in the comments below. But I'm just going to go for. For, I'm going to maybe talk about Villa because it was penalty kings this week, uh, weekend just gone in the Premier League. Penalties galore. And uh, so that's how Liverpool won their game. That's how United won their game. But Villa got up against Norwich. Norwich, very dominant performance as I saw against Bang United. A Norwich win. And I'll go with a 2-1 Norwich win. My next one is Manchester City versus Leagues. Uh, as I said, penalty kings this weekend. Um, you know, Man City won their game by Raheem Sardin penalty. And, you know, fair play for Man City for actually, you know, their seven penalties in the Premier League this previous weekend. It becomes untrue. Uh, we're going up against Leeds United. Rafinha is, you know, the hero and the villain. Um, Rafinha, I believe, gave away the first penalty to Chelsea and, you know, pretty went tumbling down from there. Um, I'm not sure whether he gave the second penalty to Chelsea, but, you know, it don't really matter. Chelsea won that game. Um, going forward to this game, I think it's going to be a draw. I think Leeds are strong enough to go hold up for a draw at the Etihad Stadium and I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Wolverhampton. Now, Wolverhampton did have Raul Jimenez sent off uh, at the, at the uh, Etihad Stadium. And to be honest, he deserves it. Um, when I say he deserves it, I meant one yellow card. Um, was it a foul? Was it booking for the first one? That still remains to be a question. But after you've been booked, the last thing you can do is block a free kick, which Schumann has done, which saw him the red card at City. So, you know, on that verge of things, it's going to be a very nippy, tucky game. Um, I'm going to go for a 1 1 scoreline, I think, for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Watford. Um, Watford losing to. Um, and Brentford the previous weekend away from home uh, Burnley drawing 0-0 at home to West Ham United now there is a question about should there be a penalty in that game and we talk about that when, when we get down to the West Ham fixture um, but I'm just really interested in this one but I think it will maybe just be a bang average game um, Sean Dyche already admitted to the press that he weren't too happy the way that Burnley played in the first half. Um, so does that mean that Watford will come out on top? Thinking about it, I'm just going to give it to Watford, I think. I'm going to go for a 1-0 scoreline for that one. 
My next one is Crystal Palace versus Southampton. Now, Crystal Palace beating Everton 3-1 at home. Um, good goal by Conor Gallagher. Um, I did see it, and fair play for Conor Gallagher for actually striking that. Um, you know, that's why maybe players should strike outside the box a bit more, but you never know. Uh, Southampton did lose 3 their way to Arsenal. Now... Without Aubameyang playing, should Southampton maybe done a bit better? Maybe. But going up against the Crystal Palace side, that do look really good in form. Um, but I'm just going to go for a draw for this one, I think. And I'm going to go for another 1-1 scoreline for that one. Now the next one is Arsenal versus West Ham. Arsenal, you know, beating Southampton 3-0. No Aubameyang apparently done something they should have done, and that's why one in the squad. There's a big question mark over Birmingham, and that should probably match one of my videos within the next week or so. Um, West Ham should they have had a penalty against uh, Burnley. Well, you can all make your minds up for yourself, but I believe they should have done. Um, Dawson, the player that got taken out, really should have had a penalty, I do believe. I think Burnley were quite lucky to get away with that penalty. Um, Shell. But it didn't happen. West Ham drew. Going up against an Arsenal side that, you know, does it look it's maybe has its own problems back, back beyond closed doors. So I'm going to go for a draw for this one. And I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Spurs. Leicester beating Newcastle 4 0 quite comfortably. Um, a 4 0 win. Uh, Yet again, another penalty in that one. But Jane, did James Madison dive? Put that down in the comments below as well. Uh, you know, it's just a really interesting um, debate of penalties this weekend. Um, I've, I've already said. But it's going to be a really interesting game going towards Spurs. And Brighton and Spurs did play this weekend. This could be another game that could maybe get called off, I believe. Uh, or has it already been called off? Anyway, I... As far as I know, it might have already been hauled off, but I'm not too sure, so I'll go do a prediction on it anyway. And I'm going to go for a 2 1 Leicester win. As I said, Spurs of Brighton did not play the previous weekend due to the game being postponed, but you know, I think this one might have had as well, but I haven't had any, you know, um, up to date or anything on it, so that's why I predicted it. Um, the next one is Chelsea versus Everton. Everton losing 3-1 to Palace. Chelsea coming out 3-2 winners against Leeds United. That's that for Bridge with two penalties. Uh, should they maybe have both? I do believe so. Uh, now, after me, basically, I'll give my on James Madison. I think he dived. Um, just in case you're questioning what I'm thinking. But I don't believe, I think Riedeker should have had the two penalties. I'm rightly so they got him. Um, now, if you go back to the West Ham penalty we at Burnley, what's the difference between that one and the Rudica penalty? That was given for Chelsea's second penalty of the weekend. Put it down in the comments below. You know, let's get some discussion going. Going up against an OK Everton side, a restless Everton side. Everton fans get really restless. Um, you know, want some goals, they want some results. That ain't happening. So I'm going to go for a Chelsea win and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Chelsea win. My last one for this weekend is Liverpool versus Newcastle. Now this fixture is a really interesting fixture because I'm not sure if you've seen it but if you've seen the movie Gold then you know this is the last fixture before Newcastle which is the Champions League. Which way Newcastle wouldn't get back to in the near future? Will it happen? I mean time will tell. Liverpool Beating Villa 1-0. They're, they're struggling for goals. They really are. Um, but going up against the Newcastle side that did lose 4-0. And the pressure that starts growing on Eddie Howard and that Newcastle team. So I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Liverpool win. But anyway guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.